Hello there, and welcome to the final build of my Ultimate Home server. So this is my server fully assembled up, and sorry I didn't do a video for that, but you can go and check out the other videos that are on the components and the soft, some of the software that I'm using. So I've got a Fractal Designs Node 304 case, an ASUS P8H77i, an Intel Core i5 at uh, 3.4 gigahertz, it's just a 350 set three thirty five seventy I'm pretty sure and so this is the case the case is mm, decently sized um, if I I don't have my phone on me I would do an iPhone comparison but yeah on the back here we've got a uh, <coughs> 140 mil fan and I would get the case off but the case has given me a bit of trouble with particularly with the SATA cables so if you go look at the other video, hold on, I'll slide it off a tiny bit here. So these are the drive bays, and of course the drive bay cables come out around here and down there. And with the SATA cables, one of them's already snapped because my dad decided to come in and open this up and snap the cable off. So I would get that off, but yeah. Of course this just slides off and on and thumb screws tightened up at the back. But anyway, so I've got a Antec 620 cooler in there which is a water cooling cooler which radiates the heat out and this little fan here uh, takes it out and this is also controlled by a little knob there which allows me to change the voltage which allows me to turn it up and on so without further ado I'll just go ahead and power it, power it on and show you just how fast it boots press the button there So the BIOS logo, RAID configuration, and now we start Windows. I hope we start Windows. There we go. Look at that. The Windows flag didn't even come up. So that's that. And also the keyboard I'm using is just a mini USB one because I'm not really typing on it too much. And I'll just enter in my password. You can have a look at the LED lights down there. And enter. And I've also got it set up so Crash Plan starts up as the system starts. The Crash Plan is obviously an automatic backup, so this is being used as a file server and as a little processing unit for my father's photography business. If you want to go check that out, famedimages.com.au uh, just basically functions and stuff really. But yeah, so this case is just beautiful. I'm so happy with it. And the sound for this is absolutely quiet. I'll open up a uh, hardware monitor and show you what kind of RPMs my fan's at. Load up here in a second. So the fan one is around 800 just yeah 800 rpm and the other one is on around 900 rpm and this one at the back here as you can see is barely spinning and it is very silent like if i'm a few meters away i can hardly tell that it's even on so overall if you're looking for a great server or just a little mini computer because this really isn't that it's not overly big. I mean, here's a small size keyboard, a very small size keyboard. Here's a 19 inch monitor. And yeah, also the power that this thing's drawing. Um, it's using around 200. I have my other computer hooked up to this energy monitor, so that's why it's coming out as 443. And that's basically it. I mean, I have rain meter up here to display when the machine's uploading uh, and this space and CPU usage and that. And obviously it's not doing much at this time of the day, but I'm not even backing up. But yeah, um, actually I think it. every now and again it does that. So the white LED is the hard drive indicator, blue one is obviously power. 
and that often flashes. I'm pretty sure it's just the Intel rapid storage, just making sure everything's verified. Oh no, yeah, no, it's not backing up. But yeah. Also, I use um to get my fan speed so low, I used ASUS's AI suite, and to just change the fan speeds. And if you want a video on that, please put a comment below. Com put a comment below. And I hope you enjoyed this sort of final build and sort of wrap up of this awesome little server. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe for more tech and computer videos.